Charles Woodson, first ballot Pro Football Hall of Famer. What role did your time in Green Bay play in that? It played a big role. Coming here, being able to play with the teammates that I played with, you know, those were the guys that helped me reach new heights. And, and I think without playing with those guys and us pushing each other, I don't know if I get to the first ballot. We really made each other excel and, and be the best that we could be. Throws the left side deep, it's intercepted, intercepted. Charles Woodson. You were a hybrid before there was hybrid. Do you think you were somewhat of a pioneer? Because nobody was doing it, and you did it, and now everybody's still looking for that guy but can't find him. Yeah, a pioneer in terms of a guy who could do all of those things but do it at a Pro Bowl level. You could put me anywhere, and, and, and wherever you put me, you know, I was going to be able you know, to succeed. So I've always looked at myself as a football player. A lot of what you accomplished was with violence. Did that part of your game come quite naturally? It did, and I think it started early. You know, I, I, I feel like I had a great understanding of what football was all about. And you know what it's about? It's about having the football. So either you have it on offense or you got to get it back, you know, on defense for your offense. One thing I know about offensive players, whether it be receiver or running back or quarterback, they're not trying to go back to the sideline without the football. So if I can just, you know, you know, loosen it up a little bit and make them really think about it, then I have them. Charles, you not only made big plays, you made them at big times. What's the secret to doing that? I think just really just understanding the game. I think if you have a, you know, a genuine understanding of the game, you know, you'll, you'll make a lot of plays. Palmer throws the right side, it's intercepted! My goodness, Charles Woodson! Let's talk about the NFC Championship game after the 2010 season, Soldier Field. Let's be one mind, let's be one heartbeat, for one purpose, one goal, for one more game. One. Let's get it. What did that mean to you? I'd been in the NFL for you know quite a while up to that point. I'd been to a Super Bowl. I always felt like I'd go right back, and uh, it, it didn't happen that way. There's no guarantee that you'll get back. And so I just wanted the guys to think about it, like for that next couple of weeks, like you have something that you're able to accomplish that will last forever. Charles, the Super Bowl that followed Unfortunately, right before the half, you break your collarbone. And at halftime, you find out the news is not good. What'd you say to the team then? <laughs> Man, I think about it all the time because I'm sitting there and uh, the doctors had, they had, saw, they had seen the x-ray and then they, they just left. It, took, it seemed like forever. So I walk around the corner, I see the x-ray myself, it's sitting there and I saw my collarbone. I was like, oh man, I cannot play. Like I know I can't play because of the way my bone was looking. Mike calls the team together. He starts to talk and I say, Mike, you know, can I, you know, say a few words? And, um, you know, my intentions were to kind of really, really give the guys, you know, a talk, but I was really overwhelmed with emotions. And uh, the only thing that came out was, you know, you guys, you know how much, you know, this means to me, how much I won a championship go out there and get it done. And then from there, you know, I just, you know, tears, you know, continued to flow and, and that was it, man. And, um, you know, when I think about it, they, they did the task. Going into the Packers Hall of Fame with Al Harris, is that pretty special for you? That's the way it has to be. That's the way it has to be. I remember coming here and, uh, you know, Lionel Washington was uh, the DB coach and I remember Lionel saying, hey, Charles, man, I just want you to know, man, Al ain't gonna let you outwork him. That was the challenge. From that time on, you know, whenever we went out to practice, you know, there was competition, of course, with us in the offense, but me and Al were competing against each other, you know, trying to be the best corner on the field. Al was a technician on the football field, uh, much more of a technician, you know, than I was. And all it did was elevate me as well. Throws the right side, intercepted, oh Woodson had a leaping grab of the 25. 
Bottom line, after all, you're in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. What does going into the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame mean to Charles Woods? I mean, it means just as much. It's the Hall of Fame. I, like, I don't care what Hall of Fame you're in. That means, you know, you've done something well. You know, I, I cherish, you know, each and every honor that I've had playing this game of football, whether it's Hall of Fame or Player of the Year or Pro Bowl or whatever it is, you've had to do something right. You, you've had to have um, the ability to sustain, you know, excellence over a period of time. So I put it right up there with it. It's all the Hall of Fame.